Moodle tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use Moodle, how you can sign up on it. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Just for those of you who don't know what Moodle is, Moodle is an online learning platform that allows you to create, manage, and sell or deliver your online courses. So let's get into it. So over here, as you can see, installing Moodle, setting up your course, upgrading Moodle plugins and all of that. So let's go ahead and get started with it. So first things first, we're going to need to sign up. The sign up process is very simple. You don't see a sign up button over here. So you just simply click on the login button right here. This is going to take you over to the login page where you will have the option to sign up as well. So verify the captcha. And once we arrive over here, you can go ahead and click on create new account to go ahead and get started. Creating a Moodle account is very simple. Just enter in your age, which country you belong to. So over here, you can see a list of countries that are, you know, that Moodle supports. So you should be good to go. So I'm just simply going to fill this out. And once that's done, you will arrive over here. So here you can see Moodle open source learning platform over here. You have to read the entire terms and conditions over here. And once you've done that, click on the next button and click on the next. And once you've done that, you should be good to go. So here, they of course, again, agree. And finally, just simply click over here and click on next. And then you will arrive over here where you have to create your account. So to create an account, you have to enter in your username, password, the email address, email again, first name, last name, country, town, matrix ID, and you should be good to go. So I'm just simply going to go ahead and fill this out. And I will catch you guys in a few seconds. And once you've done that, you filled out the form, you click on continue, they'll send you a verification email. And once you've verified it, you will be good to go. After that, you will say, you will be given a message, something like this, your registration has been confirmed. And then you just simply click on continue and you should be good to go. And now you are logged in. So here you can see we are logged in. Here is your profile, calendar, private files, and your preferences and language options. And here at the top, left corner you can see you have your home your dashboard and my courses so here in your dashboard you can see all of your information so as you can see recently access closed there it's empty because we've just created the account here if you click on my courses here you will see you are not enrolled in any courses right now if you were they would appear over here and then you have forms documentations download demo tracker and many many more options and you will also have these buttons right here where you can see all of your messages your starred messages are going to be over here the group chat is going to be over here your private messages are going to be over here and here is going to be a list of contacts that you can acquire once you go ahead and enroll in different courses get in contact with different professors, different colleagues, and you should be good to go. And here you will have the, your notification center where you will see all of your notifications. And at the top, you will also see this bundle right here where you can see you have a bunch of different options. So we have Moodle Academy, MoodleNet, and Moodle.com. And here you will see you have different options. So in Moodle Academy, you will have courses, programs to develop your skill as a Moodle educator, administrator, designer, or developer. And over here in ModelNet, you will have your social network to share and curate open educational resources. And over here in the Moodle.com, you will learn about Moodle's products like Moodle LMS or Moodle Workplace or find a Moodle certified service provider. So if you want to become a Moodle educator, if we come back into home, we can see, scroll down, we will find a bunch of different options. So here you can see installing Moodle find requirements so over here if we click on this button right here it will take us over here where we can go ahead and find the installation page of Moodle here you can go ahead and install the main page right here you have the installation instructions over here if you're installing a new Moodle site start here so you have your quick start options installing Moodle cron installing plugins and FAQs are going to be over here and if you have done that, you can go ahead and set up your courses over here. So if you click on this button, you will find this page right here where they show you how you can go ahead and get started. So first things first, you need to download Moodle. And over here, they provide a quick way for teachers to access important aspect of courses right here. Course index right here. This is a scrollable site scrollable drawer that displays courses. You can have edit mode. You have block drawers. 
you have course section over here and collapse all options as well so you have different options like this one right here so let's go ahead and check it out so if we click on downloads right here we have the main module right here we have the standard Moodle extended Moodle and Moodle mobile depending on what you want to download so let's say we want to download the standard version so we just simply click on latest releases and here we will find Moodle installer package for Mac OS and for Windows so we just simply click on the Windows and here we will find different options so this is the developer version so this is Moodle 4.5 dev plus this is the simple version which is going to be Moodle 4.4.3 plus so this is like a beta version this is like a more advanced but in beta form this is more of a stable version right here as you can see it also says stable so you can go ahead and choose whichever version you want let's go ahead and install the stable version so now we're just simply going to go ahead and click on download zip if you click on it it'll take you over to a different part of the website where you can see individual documents and then we just simply go ahead and click on save and as you can see right here it is downloading and once we've done that we can see right here so now we'll just go ahead and install this installed Moodle. So we'll it's extracted right here. Give it a couple of seconds. And we have extracted them right here. And now we can go ahead and just double click on the Moodle application and go ahead and run it. And there you go. It is now running. Here you will be able to run your own Moodle servers when you've enrolled into a certain academy or when you have set up your Moodle account. Right. So this is the exe. Now, if we go back to the site as a you can see over here if we go back we can now go ahead and start enrolling within the Moodle Academy so to do that what we'll do we'll click on this button right here and go to Moodle Academy and here we can go ahead and you know get started so here you can see we have the Moodle developer all right here you can learn to create plugins here you can manage a customized Moodle site and here you can go ahead and get started with the become an educator basically now let's suppose you want to go ahead and become an educator right you're interested in the educator pathways so we're just simply going to click over here and over here it's going to open up the educator pathway and here you can go ahead and search for different courses so here we have educator programs assessment giving effective feedback over here assessment exploring quizzes accessible teaching bases and we have a bunch of different other courses as well and of course, if you come back over here in the pathway, if you just simply click on Moodle Academy, you will have these options instead. And you can go ahead and get started with the Moodle Academy. You have educator pathways, educator programs, administrative programs over going to be over here, events and U.S. Moodle services as well. So pretty cool stuff over here. So let's say, you know, you're interested in the educator pathway and over here you will have different courses and they will all be categorized into different levels so for this one is a beginner level course and it's going to take you three hours to complete it and over here this is going to teach you the basic stuff so this course addresses some common accessibility issues faced by people with one-on-one -on -one disabilities and demonstrates making the learning accessibility so here you will have a small little preview of what it is that you are going to be learning so just simply click on the course and it will open up this website right here and here you can go ahead and click on the self-enrollment button over here and get started and start learning the courses now if you decide to become a developer of course you will need the application as well but if you didn't you don't really need it i just basically downloaded it to show you that you can actually how you can download moodle as well so pretty cool stuff and once it's you've done that just simply click on continue and you should be good to go and then it, you will arrive over here onto this page for Moodle Academy. And here you can go ahead and log in. My session was timed out, unfortunately. So let me just log in again. And you have to create a new account for Moodle Academy. So the account that we previously created was just for Moodle services, Moodle developers and Moodle platform. Now for Moodle Academy, you have to create a new account. So I'm going to go ahead and create that account. And once you've created that account, we should be good to go. So here we have, again, the policies. So we're just going to skip all of this. And you should be good to go after that you just simply click on enrollment or enroll me within whatever course that you've chosen and you are now enrolled in the course and you can go ahead and begin so here you will have all of your courses options and here you can see you have information participants grades badges and more and here is the program here is the general discussion and the courses itself so here are the to do's you can go ahead and you know start your course at any given moment so 
that is it that is how you do it that is how you use moodle as a beginner so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye